Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. We got a real simple video today. Real quick project. It has nothing to do with smokers, but I need to get a video up, and I needed something quick to do. I've got a couple coming on Santa Marie grills and stuff like that, but this is just some one-inch flat bore, one-inch by eighth-inch. Roll into a ring. I'm just making a little stand for it. You can kind of see that pot right there in the corner. The pot weighs about 50 pounds. And once you put dirt in it, it's going to weigh a lot more than that. So I wanted a way to ease it around on the porch. This is one of those little Harbor Freight rollers. It's actually broke on the back side. But it's still rolling. It's twisting it a little bit, but it's still rolling it. You know, this is just some one and a half inch by eight inch flat board that I'm gonna do the wheel mounts with. I already had these wheels laying around, and so that's why I'm using those. But I mean, they're perfect for the little, for this little stand. I need four of them, I'm gonna get them cut out. And then uh, drill a hole right through the middle of them. Uh, you can see I got a drill. I went in there and drilled this is pouring rain out there. And I didn't want to go back and forth, but I gotta go around to the other side to the drill pit. <clears throat> Here, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm scoring the sides of it. So I'm going to bend those little edges up. And if you do something like this, if you score it, score it with a cutting blade, a thin one, and then bevel the, if it's over like a 14 gauge, you'll have to bevel both sides of that groove a little bit. So when it folds, it's not just filling itself up. Don't score all the way, I mean, score as little as possible. That's what I like to do, where it's still kind of hard to bend. Get all those in up, there's four, four wheels on there. You could probably get by with three wheels on here, but there was four in the little pack of half. So might as well use all of them. Mounts. I rounded the bottom plate a little bit just so it fit up against there better. I'm just setting this piece of plate on top of it so I can clamp it down, try to flatten it to the table. It's sitting fairly flat, but I figured this probably help keep it from popping up while I'm tacking these little feet on. Got stuff piled in. I'm sitting down on that table. It's got a stand on it for a grill and doors on it. <laughs> that rain came and I had to pile in. I'm ready to get in that shop.
but it's been good because it hadn't rained and no more than a few sprinkles here and there in the last month. That's how I like it. Just putting the wheels on here to make sure it's sitting good. And uh, then we're gonna get it painted up and that'll be it. I mean, it was a real easy project. But if you try to do one of these for a big pot like that, the ring, just make sure it's sitting at the bottom. You don't want the pot to come too far through because it'll bump the wheels right there and they won't be able to spin around. And that pot is tapered, so you really don't need a bottom on it once it gets set in there. I mean, it's there. Went with green just because it's sitting around. I think the last time I used this green was on that video for that clamp rack. So anyway, that'll just about do it on this one, man. Like I say, a real easy project. But things like this can be used, transferred over to many different things, you know. The wheel mounts and stuff like that. Just ways of making stands for stuff. So anyway, that'll do it on this one. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. I got some stuff coming up. I know on Santa Marie Grills, Smokers, and no telling what all. Yeah, it rolls around fine. And you can tell it, it'll be just fine once it has dirt in it. So anyway, that's it on this one, y'all. We'll see you on the next one.